Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome back to some legend today on FPG. This is 1v1, so this is a new thing on FPG, it's the 1v1 bot. They can sign one, someone else signs, and yeah, you fucking have at it. So, 1v1 versus 4v4, how's it different? Well, firstly, no one else to king control for me, except that's a lie, because I got East Legion. I'm not quite that bad. Almost so. Anyway, uh, what are the differences? It's harder to hold because there's just less scrapes on the map, so they move a bit more eff effectively, a bit smarter. So, for example, like 550 Acro on 5, I would not expect to hold in 1v1 uh, at all. Um, also, obviously, there are just less scrapes in general, so. Games are faster. As you can see, 2600 HP on the king. So the king is a bit weaker. Yeah, it's uh. There's a, you know, obviously some of the changes. So difficult to live 10 a lot of the time, so you gotta make sure you're at least okay on 10. I could send warriors here, but I'm not going to. I think if you start something that dies to warriors in 1v1, you're actually just trying to lose. Anyway, I have Dwarf Tier 2, so I'm just going to play Cannon Dwarf Tier 2. Job done. I'm going to use that to hold 7. It's probably 3 cannons. Get some Necros on 10. And yeah, sounds absolutely peachy. Not sure what I want to do in terms of sense. I'm actually thinking just like do a couple of king ups. Do we really want to play boring like that though? We'll have a look at the kill speed one more time, I guess. a bit boring, sorry. Right, this will do well enough here. Yeah, so it was quick. It was some AoE, but it didn't look even like a late arch or anything like that, where I'd really be tempted to send Murgle. It looked, um, looked more like multiple units. It's almost as if he had something like the Dwarf Tier 2. Probably not exactly that, but uh, something of that ilk. I think 10 shots will be fine with this much value. Less value and I'd be scared, but this much value, 10 shots will be fine. So yeah, obviously there's uh, there's no other lanes to hold, right? So I only need to hold my own lane um, against anything that might happen. I really don't think he's going to send 4, because that was clearly an AoE. 
it would hurt a bit because I'm greeting here, but I don't think four send comes. Anyway, 145, 155, so I can do one more wisp. Excellent. Hmm, the four send does come. Okay, this will hurt a bit. Two more shots. Okay, no more shots left. <laughs> I didn't greet, I was totally sweet here. Hi, unlucky. Um, so yeah, less players means the king gold is not shared as much, so uh, there's a lot more king gold. King lakes are a bit on the punishing side. So he'll get quite a bit of gold from this. Not too happy about it. It's okay though. Should just, do, uh, just do one regen nice and early. That was Dark Troll Spirit Militia, so that was 240. Okay. So similar push to me then. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, uh, King Control, my only weakness. You can see 59 King Gold from that. So, yeah, King Lake King is something you want to avoid. Um, especially early on like this. 59 King Gold is fucking crazy for that small ascend, hey. Um, I didn't realise it was that much. Obviously I don't play much 1v1. I uh, don't think many people play a lot of 1v1, but yeah. I knew it was more, I didn't realise it was quite that much more, hey. But, yeah, it's interesting. Either way, I think we'll just send 7 now. Immolation is not that exciting. Um, low max HP makes it worse. Obviously, like, Immolation has received a pretty good number of nerfs um, over a decent period of time, so it actually might be the worst spell for 1v1. He cleared this really quickly. We're just going to 7 him. That'll be fine. So let's just go ahead and stay. Bit of an AoE leak from me on um four, so maybe he gets cheeky and tries a resend here. Should be good. 825 value. Yeah, basically good here. Leaking super small wouldn't be uh, too bad, but obviously holding is nice. Cool. So we're able to get a little bit of a read off there, which is nice. Still gonna get the third cannon, like so. Okay, so I'm 5 2, which is not bad in terms of push. Hopefully, that ferment resend means he pushed, and then obviously he pushed 
it, I know it's only Firma, it's not a big send, right? But hopefully it's just a little difficult for him to actually go mid. I want to send something else. I really should, right? Breaking is probably too important. 5-2 won't take me that long to get a jack, so let's go Spirit. Hopefully he resends something. Yeah, it doesn't. Just because I would be... I'm pretty sure I'd be mid to small resend here. Never mind, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be mid to small resend. He's doing pretty well here, hey? Still, we can get a little read of what he's got, see if it's like... Okay, so it is actually full on AoE. Decently high bounty to attack. Doesn't have to show me the spell, I guess, if he doesn't want to. Stomp, alright. I think he's probably fine on 8. Yeah, I think I just want to fight him 10. I think my best option might be just to stay low for 10. Abuse the fact that I'm pretty good. Just get, like, a good enough send. And work off that. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. Um, I should be good to... Yeah, so I want to load here. I shouldn't need to load Pierce. Actually, I only have 1090. Let's load Pierce. 16 shots is fine on this. Yeah, let's load Pierce. Just don't leak to no send here. Or to small resend, like, it's a little bit more dangerous than 8. 9 is also a bit dangerous in 1v1. If you're trying to, like, push in King for 10, 9 can be really dangerous. I thought about sending 9 versus him, but I don't think I'm actually gonna follow up with it. I think versus AoE, like, he clearly was. Based on the 7 leak, my best option is just Pudge on 10. Like he's leaking. Yeah, it kind of strong. I didn't really consider resending out because I think, you know, most of the units you know, sort of leak AOA like that are not too bad on eight. But um, yeah, it's is this just Archer. Didn't look like Archer. Maybe it's turret. I feel like that's not ridiculous for it to be turret. Either way, I know what I want to do, so... Easy plan. Necrolite. Necromancer. Huge balls. Love my huge balls. Yeah, we're just gonna let him have it. Fudge verb. Couple of horses. Actually, a, ho a horse is uh, doing anything. Probably builds a little bit of single target for 10, right? 10 is just too scary otherwise. I am prepared. I'm on free, but I want to hold this for a while.
Oh man, 9 is scary. This is 1390 value. Probably just sit with one blocker actually and don't up the farm. Give me more wood. I think I'm not gonna bother with mass. Yeah, I'm actually not gonna bother with mass. I'm gonna hold a little bit. I'm gonna see if my sort of gambit works there. Okay, so he goes warlock big on the mass. So I think he he hasn't read what I've got then. Because uh, yeah, obviously if you know exactly what I have, you don't send warlock mass. Alright, so he ends up holding it. I leak a little bit. Not disaster for me. Maybe if I send more, I break him. But I wanted to try like the anti AoE and then keep a bit of uh, Wood to King. 700 HP boss doing 50 damage. Yeah, I mean, I want a bit more King, right? Especially just to kill this Warlock as well. So he's a bit ahead for sure, but not too bad overall. Which is just doing 80. Let's just do one more up. Okay. Clearly I don't know the timing for that. Alright, so pretty similar all things considered. Obviously he's got a bit more push. But nothing like ridiculously different in terms of value income. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at what he has on Arena and we're going to think about 11. Hmm, yeah, okay, just enough sentries to do that on 11. He has the polar, but I really want to go for it. If I win arena, I'm going for it. I'm winning arena, right? Nice. Okay, yeah, we're fucking, we're going for a hundred percent. I don't want to let him see my income go up. But yeah, arena win because he built here should mean no magnetor even if he tried to bank for it. With no magnetor, Mergle Firmit should be super dangerous for him, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. So Mergle. Verb. Hopefully I reach a hermit, even if I don't, Mogul Verb is probably good enough. I will be fine here. Yeah, I have two uh I have two big balls cannons. I'm pretty sure I'm fine here. Because obviously I want to send instead of doing the farm. I actually think this send will be really dirty. And yeah, so my read was pretty good in terms of sending Pudge and Verbs, but obviously just had enough sentries. Um, that he was able to deal with it. So yeah, I think this is actually going to be a really juicy send here. Yeah, 
yeah, Arena win difference, I think. And it's like, because I've seen his shit now, it's really tailored to counter him. Yeah, fucking knew it. I don't know if I would have gone for this if he'd won the arena. I might have done it, but it would have been more of a desperation move than like an actual good send. But yeah, this is a lot of gold for me now, so it's really nice. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to push twice here, and I'm going to king. I think push twice, king 20 is a really, really uh, safe play for me. Because this has to force king, right? This level isn't so weak that we don't force king. Yeah, I mean, this is still dangerous to no king. He has to king. Nice. So it's minus one. I'm going to write that in the chat just because I can... Oh, never mind. I thought it would let me see things I typed to myself, but I guess not. It's actually almost dying here. Right. Nice, we got the, some regen at the end as well. Super good for me. Super, super good. And just look at the king gold that's going to come. 123 king gold. Fucking disgusting. Alright. Amazing, amazing, amazing. He's never going to want a 17, obviously, into what I've shown. So, there, there, there. Okay, that's actually quite solid. I think I still keep this. Yeah, just make sure to... I'm going to triple reload Pierce here. Cool. Obviously, I'm, like, I cannot leak. Um... <laughs> to no send. Because if I just show him I've done king, it's a fucking disaster. But yeah, I push to 7 6, and I'm just going to keep kinging for a little bit. Which will get me income. Also, should make me relatively safe against any send. Because obviously, with only one line of sense, he doesn't have much wood now after that 11. Uh, and like, I should just be able to kill him 20 without any real issues. Especially with, uh, you know, no heals, right? So all I need to do, I think, is just take some fatness. And then play it out from there. Yep, not bad, not bad. Get an AOD. I don't really know when he's going to send. Like, I just imagine it's not 17. But I really think he burned, like, almost all his lumber on, um... On 11 there. And look, I definitely could have looked for race on 17, but he has got Magna, so if he just, like, expects that and goes Magnus, I'm fucked. But I, I don't think I die mid-game. If I just keep kinging. As long as I'm not kinging during this stage of the round, and I'm keeping like a bit for HP, if he sends on whichever level it is. As long as I have enough to get HP, I should be sweet. Okay, he goes here. Cool. So I have three Pierce Cannons, I have Ghost. I don't have the most front line, but I think I'll be doing okay here. I mean, obviously, well, I say obviously, I don't expect to be dying. I guess this was immolation as a response that he's sending here, right? Okay. I thought he would wait longer with the send, but this is honestly not too bad, because I just king, and I have 13 attack. So I think the play now is I just don't push. I think I don't push and I go 20. I would like to keep my heal, and I mean, it doesn't really punish me for upping here.
saved. Alright, good enough. Cool. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Do I push once here? I know I said I wouldn't push, but do I, want, do I push once? Right, how much king gold was that? 141. What did I fear? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier in 1v1 because there's a uh, lot less things to click. Okay. Yeah, seven seven seems like a grief. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not wanting. I don't want seventeen. The seven seven is bad if I don't want to go seventeen. I think I'm gonna start just. Hmm. Look, let's get one blacksmith, because I always want at least one of those, right? So it seems like a pretty safe buy. I'm not sure what he's going to go for now. I didn't show this AOD. So I don't think he's going to 16. I guess it's 18, 19 or king from him. If he kings, he could live 20. Yeah, if he kings, it could be okay. 21 is an issue for me though, so I don't really want to um, stretch it out to that. Like, I don't see a reason for me to race 21, unless I'm, for some reason, sure that he's kinged. It definitely makes sense for him to king. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. For now, I'm going to just hold my lumber and look for an actual kill. I'll reload my cannons on 16 in case he does go for that, because it is a weak level of mine. He shouldn't know that. Um, yeah, he shouldn't know that it's a particularly weak level for me, but on the off shot that he uh, goes for it. He's killing really quickly here. Yeah, on the off chance he goes for it, I don't want to be super vulnerable. So I'll load just with big balls. Yeah, just going PDs, because PDs are good on... Um, they're pretty good like every level until 21, right? Research complete. I hope I haven't underpushed here. I'm definitely safe 20. It's just... I'm only scared of... Uh, I'm only scared to take it 21 just because like he's pretty good there and I'm pretty bad there. He's not necessarily that bad 20, depending what he builds, but do you think he expects me to go 20? I think I feel like you'd expect me to go 17. Especially because I'm showing that I have low regen and haven't done any more. Okay, so. Again, killing super fast here. Is he? I think we'll go blacksmith over cannon upgrade. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. So yeah, don't imagine he sends here at all, but that's totally fine. I, yeah, I think I just stick to 20, right? 
I guess I just go Demon Crack and Mass. Should have enough wood for that. Because he lost that heal on 11, makes it a lot more appealing. The thing about boss levels in 1v1, obviously there's only 3 bosses, so if you have Max King, um, it, you can, it, it can be fairly hard to kill someone on a boss level if they have full King, right? Through the heal. Um, you know, if they don't do any damage to the bosses, then of course, but if they actually do a reasonable amount, then it can be difficult. But with the heal gone, I'm feeling a bit safe about it. Okay, so he's killing like same speed as me here. This is obviously the level where I have heaps of damage. But again, just sort of implies his lane is fragile and high damage, which I think is something I can abuse, hopefully. Job's done. But on a second blacksmith. I think I might just grab another cannon. Might load this one with a uh, acid shot. So realistically, the only thing I'm scared of at the moment... Well, I'm scared of two things. I'm scared of 19, and I'm scared of him, him kinging with, like, good enough at 920. If he does either of those things, I can lose. Um, but if it's 18 resend, or if he was expecting 17, 18 building for that, I should be pretty sweet. I feel safe for um, any sends he might go for. Like, yeah, I mean, ideally I can get away without kinging if he 18, 19, right? 19, I think, is actually really dangerous. And I hope he doesn't go for that. See, we'll see if it's the 19 send of truth, then hey. I am prepared. It's, um, pretty sure it's what I'm most scared of. Yeah, pretty sure it's what I'm most scared of. My bidding. Upgrade complete. 450. Cool. Me. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and send. I'm 20 if he doesn't hear. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and go 20. Demon Kraken, Ferb, not gonna Commander, uh, no, I'm just gonna prioritize Mass over Commander. No, I'm good actually. I don't know if he's like actually got lag or if he's um just talking shit because obviously I'm better um well like you know that now the game's gone to 20. Oh okay it sounds like he's actually being real. I thought he was just talking shit like uh looks like looks like you're sending 20. Yeah I'm starting to lag now man. I'm just unconnected but uh maybe not the case. So yeah, we'll just get the mass down as much as we can. I'm feeling really, really safe here, but again, we'll see if he kinged. So if he kinged and lives this, I'm in a really, really tough spot. Actually, I think I just lose if he uh, lives this, because he obviously gets a scout on my line from the arena. Okay, good, he sends. Yeah, Demon Mass sends less than me, but that makes sense because he sent lighter than me. This spawn, like the summon is really awkward. Summoned all on this boss, and I'm hitting this boss with my army, but it'll be okay. 
looks like, yeah, I have enough to mid. PD Ghost, pretty good here. My armor reduction from the cannons is good as well. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the 11 send really turned things around for me, hey. The 13 ended up well for him, but maybe I got a bit greedy going 7-6, but yeah. Yeah, maybe 7-6 was a little bit greedy, but it wasn't too bad in the end. Nice, nice, nice. A good game. Yeah, he definitely got me, um... He got me on 4, hey. It's, <laughs> it's been a bit too greedy pushing instead of loading the cannon, hey. Most kills and most liked. I guess that's just because he sent more mass than I did. But yeah, it was a good game, so well played, man. It was, it was a lot of fun, actually. I enjoyed that. I think you're ahead, but, um... I don't know, I think my role just had less weaknesses than his overall. So I actually think he out... I, I think he played better than me, and I think I rolled better than him. Like, realistically, I think that's what the game came down to. And the, uh... And the roles being better was more important than the play being better. But regardless, um, it was a good game. So yeah, cheers very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that. As always, thank you to my patrons. You guys are legends. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.